This is Mexico, the 10th most populous country in the world with a population of 13 crore. Mexico is the 21st century's one of the most important countries. One of the reasons for this is its location and history. Mexico is in North America to the north of the United States and to the south and west, it is bordered by the Pacific Ocean. To the southeast, it shares borders with Guatemala, Belize, and the Caribbean Sea. On the eastern side, Mexico has been the stronghold of different cultures and civilizations for thousands of years. Perhaps it surprises you to know that the world's largest pyramid is not in Egypt, but in the Mexican state of Puebla known as the Pyramid of Calula. Before the arrival of Europeans, there were various cultures and civilizations here. Initially, the Almex people inhabited this region, and later, around 280 AD, the Mayans arrived, dominating Central and South America for about 700 years. The Mayan civilization was the most advanced of its time, with its disappearance still shrouded in mystery. Their achievements in mathematics, agriculture, and astronomy were unbelievable for their time. But around 950 AD, the civilization mysteriously came to an end. In the 10th and 11th centuries, the Toltecs arrived, followed by the Aztecs, who established their rule over central Mexico until the arrival of Europeans. Throughout these thousands of years, one thing has remained common in Mexico, the pattern of people living. Even to I around 60% of Mexico's population resides in a narrow strip that constitutes only 18% of Mexico's total land area. This means that almost 82% of Mexico is relatively empty. The question arises, why have people been living in this small area for thousands of years? Another crucial question is what is happening in the future that could make Mexico an economic powerhouse. One significant reason is Mexico's geography. Only 30% of Mexico's land is suitable for agriculture. In the north of Mexico, there is a vast and hot desert where farming and cultivation are almost impossible. Similarly, in the south of Mexico, there are dense jungles with heavy rainfall, making it challenging to build infrastructure such as roads or buildings. The central part of Mexico, where people reside, faces its own set of challenges due to mountain ranges. Cutting through and building in these mountains is difficult and expensive. The central part of Mexico is where people live, surrounded by these mountain ranges, making it challenging for the government to control and monitor the entire area. From Guatemala to Belize and up to Mexico's northern border, policing and controlling these areas are difficult. Consequently, drug smuggling and weapon trafficking are common here. On one side, drugs are smuggled from southern Mexico to central Mexico. And from there, they are smuggled through the northern border into the United States. Because of the deserts and high mountains, stopping this smuggling is extremely difficult for the police. The central part of Mexico, where people live, is also historically significant. This entire area is filled with fertile land, primarily due to the presence of volcanoes. This region is historically known for the cultivation of important crops, such as maize. It is an ideal area for agriculture and irrigation, making it suitable for civilizations to thrive for thousands of years. Similarly, Mexico's economy is largely dependent on its most important city, Veracruz. Veracruz is a coastal city located on the eastern border of Mexico, connected to the sea. 35% of Mexico's water supply comes from here. This is also the point where Spanish, American, and armies of the 16th and 19th centuries entered Mexico, capturing its capital, Mexico City. Mexico City is surrounded by a massive mountain range, providing protection against external attacks. However, these mountains also pose a significant obstacle to protecting Mexico's coastal line. Before the 20th century, Mexico was highly vulnerable to external forces. In the 18th century, a railway track was laid from Veracruz to Mexico City, a distance of 200 miles. At the same time, in the neighboring United States, a railroad network had already been established approximately 50,000 miles away from Mexico. 
This infrastructure development allowed the United States to surpass Mexico due to its flat and even geography. These geographical complications in Mexico, combined with its population pattern, kept Mexico lagging behind Northern America. However, in recent years, a remarkable transformation has occurred in Mexico. Between 2010 and 2020, pipelines have been laid from the United States to Mexico, covering a distance of 70 miles. Most of the gas supply for Mexico now comes from the United States, and manufacturing plants have been set up near the border. This has significantly boosted Mexico's manufacturing industry. Due to the availability of cheap gas and labor, leading to a substantial reduction in production costs. Many companies are now establishing their presence in Mexico. With the country manufacturing a considerable number of cars for export, surpassing Canada and China. In 2019, Mexico became the world's fifth largest exporter of cars. In the coming years, experts predict that if Mexico's manufacturing industry continues, to advance at the same pace, Mexico could become the world's seventh largest economy. As Mexico's manufacturing industry grows, the population pattern is also expected to change. Many people will likely move away from the central area and settle near the northern border. This shift is anticipated because numerous factories are being set up in this area. And due to their proximity to the border, products from these factories entering the United States do not incur additional taxes. It seems that Mexicans have now decided to leverage their geographical advantages. When a nation collectively makes such a decision, there is no stopping its progress. This is the ongoing transformation in Mexico.